Hey everybody, it is Captain Bryn here, back with World of Mist. Oh, it has been a while. I think it's been a month since I last uploaded anything. It's been three weeks from today that my newborn son was born, and it has been like five or six days that I've been trying to record, and something happens with him, and whether he burps everywhere or does something crazy and then I my help is needed or I am just so exhausted I don't feel like recording well either don't feel like recording or don't think I would be presentable enough to record so now I have my coffee and we have World of Mist ready to go I have a couple decks prepped um, today is just control Odin but before we get into that two announcements one my tournament has wrapped up and I will be starting a new one most likely May 1st uh, I don't have the details sorted out yet but keep an eye out for that tournament but then this Saturday the April 11th at 7 p.m. GMT or I think it's 2 central time 3 eastern depending on wherever you're at uh, there will be a it's, we've been the players have been calling it a dev tournament or a developer tournament but it's their weekly constructed tournament with cash and skins as prizes. Um, and we need 16 players for the, the cash to actually be given out. And last time I think they only had 12 or something. But that is happening again this Saturday as far as I know. So hop there. You should see announcements somewhere. They should be posting one in-game. If you're in the Discord, there will be an announcement there. If uh, you have notifications on Steam, you should have notifications there as well. So, or you should see a notification about it. But, uh, if you are a new player, this is great because if you are lower than, uh, I think if you're gold or lower, pretty much this lower tier, you will automatically get two packs, I think it's two packs, or you will get some sort of prize just for participating. If you're higher up, they assume that you have enough uh, rewards that they're not going to give you anything just for free. If you win, you get stuff. But, uh, so, that's what is going on. And we're going to be playing Control Odin, so well, I, I'm going to get that going very soon. So, be right back. Okay, here we go. We have Odin versus Athena, which if this is a bot... I don't recognize that name then it'll be super easy and we won't really be able to test what this deck does but reminder even though I just said it even but it's been a little bit since I have said it um, there's a tournament this Saturday please join that way we can all have fun and such and then keep an eye out for my tournament uh, but on with the deck so there's this card called bridge burners which I don't know if I reviewed in uh, my Egyptian mythology one because I either forgot about this card or something but I was making this deck and just type deal in the search bar so that I could find cards that have dealt that would deal damage to temples or to something and this card showed up and I was like hair there's too much cat hair floating around um, I don't really care if they do that but this card showed up and I was like this is really good it's a 4 cost 2-2 two, two, which is about 3 cost worth of stats but then you have the possibility of dealing 2 damage to just a flat out temple which is freaking amazing and the idea of this is to do exactly what I just did there's hardly any creatures in this deck but there's a lot of actions and you just pretty much rack up uh, damage and you use Odin to rack up that damage you buff your few creatures that you have uh, primarily use them for defense um, occasionally you don't have to I'm starting to wonder if this is not an no uh, it's an AI I was like they would have gotten for the leader there but you know what we're just gonna We'll let them keep tapping this temple down. Uh, eventually I will block uh, 
Or I can just do this. We don't even have to use a spell. We can just flat out do that. We'll save every one of our spells. Probably too, have too many spells, but the few opponents I've actually played against, oh, uh, this has been fairly successful. But essentially it's control Odin. You use Odin's three attack as much as possible. And what the heck? <laughs> they are using so many. <laughs> Summoning Athena. Athena is not a great attacker. But whatever. We can we can roll with it. And also the story we told totally screws over Susano. It's amazing. But we will just we're gonna keep this up. And this time we'll play this one. That way we have something, and then they, even if they do block it, they have no way of countering it unless they lose their creature. Unless they're back down to summoning Athena if they want to keep attacking, which if they want to, if they can. But yeah, we are pretty much going to continue to kill their stuff. Uh, we're not going to do that. We will do this. We will just keep going after this middle temple. And eventually it's going to work. Even if they block, we do have Wolf Spain's drop to kill the creature. But pretty much you're using Odin as your unit to waste their endurance. And your spells will finish off the endurance of certain creatures like what we're about to do. Because this centaur is going to attack and it's going to be pretty neat of how we kill it. But hey. What our opponent should be doing is hitting Odin with almost any attack that they can because that's where we kind of are weaker. We, uh, yeah, we'll just keep doing that. Oh, uh, we're weaker as Odin gets weaker, and we could be attacking. Uh, ooh, now our game plan has changed because we have uh, Mitsognir and we want to buff his power. We might as well do this. Oh, uh, and I had a whole bunch of power to him. But uh, I could be attacking Athena, even though because they're summoning her so much. And whenever Fenrir does show up, Fenrir can finish her off. But uh, they're also not having a lot of defense accessible. Uh, so that's why I'm just pushing onward with temples, uh, because in a couple moves we'll be able to beat all of this. They we're gonna let them swing on this, but we're gonna go and kill the Pegasus, or have this attack be the killing blow. But we'll lose our temple, which is fine. I don't really care about the temple. Uh, and then let's go and play this down, and we will destroy the right temple hopefully and then we do have a very nice board where we can destroy this metal temple next go we have plenty of ways to get rid of their defenses if they ever set up defenses but so far they haven't and again it's an AI which is mildly unfortunate but hey oh now they attack Odin <laughs> they realize what oh, the first darn it oh well it doesn't really matter that we lost a bit there and we have five left so we can deal two damage here we have nine they have nine so how about we just kill this and then we win because they have no faith left, they only have one health on the temple, and voila! So that's control Odin. You pretty much summon Odin as much as you can, and then swing and voila, that's how it goes. But, uh, I am Grandmaster, and if you're curious how like the leaderboards work, uh, I did find out that it's pretty much if you're a Grandmaster, you have 10,000 points. 
and it's 10,000 plus this, so I have 16,600 uh, points, and that's how uh, if you can get points here, rise the most points wins uh, over the course of a season, but I'm not sure that they really have set hard deadlines on the season. I know it's a couple months. Uh, might be when the mid pass ends. I don't really know. But either way, we will be right back. Another Greek opponent. But Poseidon is definitely more dangerous. But a great way to get around your exhausted units is by having your leader do all the attacking for you. And Shield Maiden is a great first drop because you can't play your leader on your opening turn. The only downside is Shield Maiden will be our most expensive unit until we get Bridge Burners down. But knowing how Poseidon rolls, I probably want to hit the leftmost temple with Shield Maiden just so we can get going. Fresh Recruit we'll get rid of because Fresh Recruit is awful. I mean, I like the card, but all things considered, he's pretty rough. We will hit the right temple because I really don't care for an endurance in this deck. Mainly we use the middle temple to control their units and I kind of didn't do that last game but it didn't really matter because they were using Athena more than anything. Uh, but eh. And then it's a matter of do we let this damage go through? Part of me wants to say yes, part of me doesn't want to say yes, but we're going to do it anyway. We do have Call to Heavens in here. And that is primarily for when real players have been showing up. And we're going to play helpless on this guy. And we're going to buff our shield main just so we have more power for defense. And they're wasting their Prince of the Waves anyway. But hey, this way shield main is a great defender whenever we need it. But for the most part, I'm going to let a lot of the damage go through. That's just kind of how I've been playing this deck. Oh, uh, and use Shield Main to protect Odin because we're using him as our primary attacker. And it's on the table. Sorry about that little gap. But again, they're going all in on the temple. We are going to let them pass. And like, call the heavens if they are more aggressive with their leader. Uh, which is basically Hachiman, Suzano, well not Suzano, Hachiman, Horus, a few of the others who have three attack, You, this is a great way to stop them. I think I only have one. I don't remember how many I have in there. Hey. But, uh, I will probably have cut out the audio for that uh, little snidbit there. But let's just keep buffing our. Eh, we'll go ahead and use this. Eh, we'll use it later. Kind of want to maximize Axonado by having it hit three units because it's three cost. This would only be hitting two, though it'd be useful. Right now it would be even better. But they didn't attack, so let's. We will keep it up. But this time, we will use Odin and our bridge burners. You know what? I uh, will save Praise the Sun. Oh, uh, because we do have five damage, they may not block it. Yeah, they didn't block it. Because the AIs kind of work like that. Your first symbol that you destroy, they don't really block that. Once you get to the second and third, they definitely block it. They always block the third one. Cool. They just wasted eight faith with Summer Heat. Summer Heat is a great card, but they just wasted that entire thing. And you know what? Two damage? Sure. Whatever. I want the endurance. And we did play Axonado. You know, as a right? Yeah, we will do that. We'll play Shield Maiden. And we will attack with our Bridge Burners at this uh, temple. And since we didn't play Odin, we might as well use Praise the Sun. Give it a lot of attack. That way they would have to use all five of their, or all three of their units to block the five damage. 
Naturally they didn't. Now we are even at a super duper ad great advantage. Although Medusa is annoying. And now our shield maiden can't block. And they finally exhausted bird burners. I was kind of waiting for them to exhaust it. Um, no, I don't really care. We're about to win. So, what do we draw? Before we summon Odin, we drew another bridge burners. So let's save the bridge burners. It's not exactly what I want to do. But we can do this. And we will go and kill the priest. That way again, if they want to block all the damage, they have to use this Medusa. And notice how Medusa is now in front of the wolf. And according to Medusa, you can't use that, but I had activated the dire wolf prior to having Medusa slide over. Keep that in mind. That was a great way to get around. It's not really get around Medusa, but basically get around Medusa. So they did block everything. But again, not really the worst because now we do have ways to deal four damage. Two temples, but the downside it's not a three and one damage. So let's kind of be risky. We will go all in on this temple. And they can block all of it, which is annoying that they can block all of it. And if they do try to attack, we do have some options. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this to deal damage to that temple. Now it's one and one. Now we just have to deal da at least one damage to a temple. Naturally, they need to block with that paladin. I would have liked to have had one more damage, but I think we have enough defense that... Uh, oh, shoot. Did we just freaking lose? Oh. Is he going for the leader? <laughs> oh, crap. We screwed that up. I should not have played Bridge Burners. We should have saved it for Back to Dust. I forgot Apple of Discord is a thing. I really hope this ain't an AI, but I'm guessing it's an AI. Because we only have eight, which can't do anything, and we can't win. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that is super embarrassing but hey that's what you get for kind of being greedy we'll do one more oh uh, because that was embarrassing Ooh. that one Zeus guy <laughs> I think I know. Oh, 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 oh. So this is going to be a challenge. Osiris is Egyptian. That is not an Egyptian card. That right off the bat tells me they, this is not a real player. I mean, based on card back, temples, alpha, generally it's not. That is most definitely not a real player. Because, I mean, yes, they want to shut the endurance of that down. Man, I could just wipe out that. You know what? We might, but... We're going to buff the Endurance, we're also going to not buff the power yet, but we want Misognir to kind of survive because we do have Praise the Sun and we have ways to buff him, and yeah, great. 
get that fresh recruit out of here. And now they basically have a consistent source of power. So. We're going to keep this ball rolling with the endurance buffs. Is he going to spend it all? No, he didn't. He still let me get through, have an endurance back on the Sognir, countering that early Wolfsbane's drop from earlier. Cleopatra! Holy, I forgot how amazing that is. Holy shoot, he, yikes, I mean that is doomed. <laughs> Holy shoot, holy shoot dude. This is a great Egyptian setup but he's attacking with this and I mean he, if he was attacking with this he should go after the endurance but he didn't. So we are just going to kind of unload on that, yeah yeah I know. Um, yikes, that's kind of scary. Okay, let's, let's calm this down, just to calm it down a bit. We'll use Misognir to, again, get an Endurance, it's, eventually we'll get his power up, but right now, this is a super scary board, and I mean, he can block with these two, and it's... Great, because this owner of faces is amazing in Osiris, but you don't ever want to attack with it. Like, Osiris is amazing. I, He is my favorite Egyptian leader, but Cleopatra, yeah, Cleopatra, definitely amazing card, because having freaking eight Sephir is definitely worth it, having Doomed. Yeah, go right on... Go right on through that. I don't care one bit about that. We will go ahead play helpless on you. Now I really hope that I can draw Praise the Sun. Because we are kind of close and we didn't get it, but that's alright. We can do it anyway. We will go here. We will get Chubby Stone Eater down. We will damage. We'll damage this one, that way it's down to four. So, to not run into the problem that we ran into last time, where we couldn't have used Siege Tactics or Bridge Burners to get four damage on one single temple. And hey, he brought Osiris back down. Having Osiris attack. Definitely get you around the black sheep because leaders do not count as units. And we do have. I just realized I misplayed that. Chubby Stone here should have gone on the right, not on the left, but it's okay. Because uh, now Chubby Stone here can be our nice blocker. That's a five, that's a two, that's six. Darn it. Ooh. Bingo! We. Vikings the whole way. Yes. I don't know. I, yeah. That. That one Zeus guy. I. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> you gotta be careful with uh, summoning your leader. You have to have ways to get around attacks like that. Like, that's pretty rough. Now do we get back up to where we were? No, we didn't get right back where we were. Darn it. But that is enough for now. Keep in mind, there's that tournament on Saturday, April 11th, 7 p.m. GMT. I'm going off of what it was last week's tournament. Uh, there will be a post on Facebook and on Reddit that I will do, but keep an eye out for notifications in-game and on Steam. Even if you're on mobile, you should get the Steam app and just basically use that as your updates. Uh, I think they can have notifications through Google Play, not too sure. But either way, keep an eye out for that because tournaments are going to be really, really fun uh, with a lot of players. So 
for now, I will see you guys next time as far as the schedule goes. I'm just going to be uploading as much or as often as I can, which may be once a week, maybe twice a week, maybe once every two weeks. We will just see. Uh, but since the mobile release of this game has come out on Android, I want to at least put out some kind of budget decks. This is basically budget deck because essentially it's just spells with Odin being your leader. I will have the deck uh, available, but feel free to make any changes you want. But for now, we will see you guys next time.